I painted this old building through 100 degree weather. Girl, what heat? It's all a mental thing anyways. Y'all don't get it. Okay, just kidding. It was really hot. But thankfully, I did not do it by myself. I had lots of help. Shout out to my team. Thank you guys. I could not have done this in two weeks without you. This was my first time using a lift like this for a mural. So I had to get used to it. But it was not that bad. After I got used to it, it was not that bad. My knees might have been shaking the first day or two at the top. But after that, I just hopped up there like it was nothing. And honestly, I couldn't even tell when I was high up. Like literally, I think there was one time I almost just opened the gate and walked out when I was high up because I forgot I was high up. Anyways, it was fine. Two of my favorite parts of this whole thing was one, using the paint sprayer to do the background blending. That was so, that was so cool. I did not know I could do that with a sprayer. And then the second thing is painting the hummingbird. I threw my headphones on and just kind of got lost and was able to really uh, relax and focus in painting those details. I can't wait to show you guys the final product tomorrow. I was really happy to hear comments. People were giving me as I was painting. They were like, oh my gosh, this makes the neighborhood look so much nicer because it's not the best neighborhood. And they were so thankful to have something colorful and popping. And that's exactly what I want to do. That is why this is everything beautiful. Because in areas where it may not be so nice, you can always find something or do something to make it beautiful. 